All right, so now we're moving to step six, add lining to bag panel. Now, wrong sides together and lining up the center creases, slip the top edges of the lining under the top folds of the bag panel. So my lining is reversible, but you'd want to make sure that um, the wrong side of your lining was what you were laying down on top of your um, outer fabric. So I'm lining up my middle crease with the middle crease that I folded in my outer fabric earlier. And I'm tucking this all the way up and under. Okay, so it's all the way up in that crevice. So then it says pin the lining and the top fold together. So that's why we have our pins always ready on hand. And it goes without saying, but make sure we're even on the sides here. Don't have like three inches over here and we're not all the way in over here. So now we're gonna pin and make sure you, well, this one slid down a little. So you want all the way up to the top. We fold it down and then we pin it together. And you need to make sure that you're pinning up and down, not side to side. So up and through it, just like that. You can go about two inches apart with these. yourself. That won't feel good. You avoid that by not putting your fingers directly behind where the pin's going to come, but just next to. All right, so now we've pinned down the lining um, and the top fold together. So this was the top fold, this is the lining, okay? So it says, wait to sew down until handles are in place. So this will eventually get sewn down, but we can't do it yet because we need to make sure our handles are ready. So now we move to number seven, attach handles and lining. So I need to grab one of my pre-cut handles, which again, today I'm using ribbon, but you should be using cotton webbing. So it says, slip one raw end of one handle, so that would be this, under a top fold so that its inside edge is three inches to the right of the center crease. So that's a long way to say find the middle and go three inches over. So you should have your ruler nearby. So I'm gonna measure one, two, three, so that's here. And so it said um, right of the center crease. All right, so so it's inside edge. So that would be this. That's what I meant by inside edge is at three inches. So I'm gonna tuck it all the way under. If you had had a pin in the way, mine was almost in the way, you would have needed to move that over. So I just tucked that in, making sure it's lying flat. Again, the inside edge should be three inches from that center crease. You are doing great. So we need to go ahead and uh, pin this in place. Just kidding. What we need to do is hold it with one finger and fold this up and now we pin it in place. For this one you will go the other direction as we've been going with our other pins. Make sure you're not pinning the back half of the bag to the front half. We're only dealing with this side right here. Okay, so that's pinned in place. Now, it says then, without twisting the handle, place the second raw edge, so that's this one, 
three inches to the left of the center crease. Fold the handles upward on the top fold, pin the handle in the fold in place. So this should look something like this. So now I come down three inches from the middle and it's my edge and I should tuck under. So I have a pin in the way, so I'm gonna slide that down. Again, without folding it. So here's three, tucking it under, as far as I can get it in there. Okay, and I'm gonna measure again, all right. Now I'm gonna fold this up just like the other one. And then pin it down. Again, making sure to pick this up so that you're not pinning the top piece to the back piece of the fabric. All right, so that will be our handle.